Well, Mr. Parker, it looks like you broke your ankle. Also, x-rays show a tumor at the base of your skull that is, for lack of a better word, tingling. Remove it. Remove it now. Time of death, 3.47 p.m. Look, everyone, Craven the Hunter is getting his own movie. The trailer is out now, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. But before I do, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and I'll love you forever. So as I said, Craven is getting his own movie. And no, it's not part of the MCU, it's a Sony production. That's right, Sony. The same studio that brought you such classics as Morbius, Venom, and Venom 2 The Search for More Venom brings you yet another poorly adapted Spider-Man villain story that's sure to please no one. Now for those who don't know, and I assume most of you don't because no one actually reads comic books anymore, Craven is a Spider-Man villain who dates all the way back to 1966. In fact, Craven's Last Hunt is a seminal story in the history of Spider-Man, so go to your local comic book shop and pick it up. You know, if you can find a comic book store because they're all closed. Anyway, Aaron Taylor Johnson plays the titular role of Craven. You may know him better as Quicksilver from Age of Ultron, but he's most likely known for not really doing anything of note for the better part of a decade. It looks like this movie is playing fast and loose with the Craven character, as in this movie he gets attacked by a lion and gets powered powers from its blood mixing with his. That's right, I didn't make that up. Much like Morbius is attacked by bats and the chameleon is attacked by chlamydia, Craven gets lion powers from being bitten by a lion. Oh boy. And from the looks of the trailer, Craven has to use his powers to stop his father, played by the bloated corpse of Russell Crowe, who was mean to him as a kid, and you know what? Who cares? Honestly, if a movie can't even get a character's origins right, then what hope could anyone possibly have for this movie? Writing a comic book movie should be one of the easiest jobs in Hollywood. There are literally decades of material that you can pull from. You don't have to create any of the characters, you don't have to create any of their motivations, or their their stories. It's literally all there, and yet somehow so many of them still fail to get it right. It's pretty much like having to shoot a target up close with unlimited ammo and still not being able to hit the target. <laughs> Now it does look action packed, so seeing some guy run around and rip other guys apart is your thing, then I guess this is the movie that you've always wanted to see. Because it does look bloody. But honestly, I don't have any hopes for this movie at all. It may surprise me, and I'm willing to give it a chance, but it looks like it's going to be just more garbage produced by the garbage men over at Sony. Thankfully for them, the Spider-Verse movies exist, or I imagine they would be under the Disney banner by now. Anyway, what do you guys think? about the Craven the Hunter trailer. Are you excited for the movie? And what's your favorite Craven moment from past years? Leave a comment below, let me know. As always, thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye.